So, we got the bigger breeding box today. I mean, here's a small one. You can see that this one's, you know, almost twice the size. So, in between my big one and my little one, I'll be able to put fry or holding females. I'll go in a little bit more detail with this bigger one because I know I didn't do much detail on it with the small one. Uh, first is made by uh, Hagen or Hagen, however you want to say it. Same people that make Fluval and uh, Aquaclear. Okay, well you can see that this one is divided into three sections. You, know, you can make it two or just one. These are all removable, so it's you know you can customize it to how you want it. Um, still has the same lid, just bigger. This one's actually neat. It's got a these clips that you can put on to make sure that the lid doesn't come off. One for each side. Also has these little plastic pieces. Um, I'm not quite sure what you would use them for. It looks like maybe to help maybe with different tanks you can slip these in here kind of help with adjusting you know depending on how your trim is or if you have rimless you know it comes with the same adjuster so you can adjust it to your tank little gate pieces to kind of restrict the flow if you need to you have the one that's fairly open and the one that's pretty much closed. And then your intake. And then your pieces for running your airlines and the valve. But if you guys have seen, I'm not going to use the airline at all. So I don't need any of that. I'm actually going to use this Rio 200 submersible pump and I'm going to use the clear tubing with the piece of old 3 8 hose I'm going to stick it right on top now there's no need for some air bubbles um, I'll do a video later with it up and running when I need it don't need it quite yet I'll put my fry in here once they're free swimming, so probably another week or so. Alright, thanks for watching.